Hey, what's up everybody? It's Keith Wilson from DG Airbrushing with another airbrushing video and today we have a lightning tutorial. Yes, I know everybody does them, but I might as well show the way that I do them so you can compare, contrast, do all of that. Please like and subscribe, you know the drill. It's getting late. I'm out. So what we got is a blue Harley Davidson trike. This front fender, customer wanted lightning with some clouds. And so I'm setting my airbrush up, which I believe I'm using a Mr. Hobby Creos 770 or 771 with a 1 point or 0.18 tip. Is that what I'm using? Nope. Using Harder Steenbeck Evolution. Nope. The Infinity. Now that we have that situated, I'm going to start with the outline of some clouds. And um, I'm kind of watching this with you guys, so I don't know exactly what I'm doing when I'm doing it, but I'll explain what I'm doing while I'm doing it. That's the riddle of the day. And we're just doing an outline for the clouds. I'm not using any reference picture, but kids at home always use a reference picture. I wish I would use it more often. I just sometimes get a little stubborn in my ways and think I could figure it out. But with the reference, you could definitely do a more accurate job, a realistic job. Um, I've done enough clouds, so I feel confident in my ability to do clouds. So here I am still doing the outline of the clouds and realizing that my camera angle should be different. So you can actually see what I'm doing. But if you look close right there, you can see a cloud forming. And I'm going to start detailing it out, I believe. But the first thing we want to do is just get a rough outline for the clouds. And then you can just build them up. Like anything that you airbrush, it's always a build up process we're building on a foundation stacking colors whatever you want to call it there you can see that a little better I have better angles in the future so you can actually see what I'm doing and I'm still doing little here I'm doing little squiggly white like swirls in the cloud there I'm making wisps to stretch the cloud out Adding more girth for the cloud, making it more full. There, starting to form nicely. I've already, um, I've already prepped this fender, just so you know, even though it looks kind of shiny, I did sand it. And wipe it down. Another wisp. I wish I was closer with my camera so you could actually see up close what I'm doing. But in the future, it'll get better. Okay, so now I'm outlining the lightning. Outlining the lightning, not outlining the lightning. Again, just from my memory of what lightning looks like. But it's funny, when you're doing art, you think that you know what something looks like but you have no idea. Like you think you know what a car looks like, go try to draw one. If you're not an expert artist or, you know, expert at cars, super difficult. Because we have that picture in our mind, but we don't really have the detail that we need to make them complete. A lot of times I've done lightning enough, enough that I, I, I know what, I have an idea what looks like lightning. It's one of my favorite things to paint really. <clears throat> I'm starting to thicken up my rough, um, kind of my rough sketch for the lightning. There you can see it. And I'm gonna make it go all the way to the ground. And when you paint lightning, there's always these little like hot spots at the joint of the bolt, if that makes sense. So as it extends and it 
it goes to different directions. There's a little, you just dab a little bit of white in those joint spaces to highlight and it adds a little realism to it. We're making them really thin in the beginning because we're gonna come over it and go over it again and go over it again until we build it up nicely and it's gonna be uneven so it looks like electricity. And then we're going to mist white over the top to give it that ambient kind of brightness that you would get. I'm drawing a set, second bolt next to this one, the main one, but the second one's a lot smaller. Then in the clouds, they're gonna reflect the light from the lightning bolts so that the, the lighting makes sense for the image. If you have any other tips for me, leave, a, leave it in the comment section, or if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. <clears throat> there, I'm filling out the other side of the clouds. Sorry for the pause here, but I could swear that I think I'm, yep, I'm coming back. I can see my reflection. I didn't know if that was the end of the video, but we still have another minute or so. So I take a scotch bright pad. Oh, that's what I was doing. I was ripping up a scotch bright pad just to add some definition to the clouds. I think it works out great. You could use all kinds of things from fabric softener sheets that are used, like kind of spread out to cotton balls to a stencil. I like it this way because it's fast and easy. I kind of, um, after cutting the or ripping the Scotch Brite, I like stretch out the fibers in it so you can spray through it. it. Gives it more cloudy feel to it, more natural. Well, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section. I know this video is almost over. I should have a part two coming out soon. Um, be good to each other. God bless. But guess what? I'm not done yet. I thought I was. <laughs> so um, now I'm just doing some final touches. Uh, clearing the dry tip off the airbrush. 